Okay, let's try this again, because my whole thing just glitched there, so I'm just restarting everything. Everything. Let's continue from the last save point. The last save point is getting really muggy. On. Let's see where we were. Before. Cassandra, it's, it's you. You're alive. As are you. I'm so glad I found you. No, they put a, a demon inside me, tearing me up. What? Hopefully this time it doesn't glitch. That's impossible. I'm not possessed. They fed me things. I can feel it growing. What could they hope to gain from this? Our powers. Welcome viewer. Welcome. I'm assuming that's you, Tom. <laughs> but if not, welcome viewer. You have to find him. Of course we'll find him. If he lives, we'll... Lucius betrayed us, Cassandra. He sent us here. One by one. An important mission, he said. Lies! He was here with them all along. He's still working with them. Okay, this time it didn't. Yeah, I don't know what happened before my, uh, Tom. The whole thing glitched, but at least it's looking good now. Uh... Okay. But we met Lord Seeker Lucius in Val Royale. He couldn't have been here. That wasn't him. It was a demon, masquerading. What? How could that be? The Lord Seeker allowed it. He let the demon take command while he... came here. If we find the Lord Seeker, he's dead. Wait. Don't leave me like this, please. You should have come with me. You didn't believe in the war any more than I did. You know me. I wanted that promotion. <coughs> Go to the Maker's side, Daniel. You will be welcome.
Oh. He was Ooh. my apprentice. I have never known a finer young man. Now we find Lord Sika Lucius. Oh, that's just brutal. Hey, but at least he didn't get transformed. Didn't so have to suffer. He was ended quickly. Wait, what the heck? Are those little... Ew. Wait, are those fish? What? I... You know what? Let's go... Let's go deal with this punk. Tom, we're gonna make Lucius pay. Make him pay. the three viewers welcome everybody feel free to comment and enjoy the show what the oh whoa, there's something over here oh wow Oh, Tom, you're in as two different things. <laughs> Spamming. Okay. Well, at least you didn't end up like Cassandra's apprentice having a demon growing inside you. <laughs> or maybe you do. No! No! See, that's what you get for joining Team Rocket. If we can give him Armor of Knights Divine. Oh, that butt. All that butt. Dance, dance. All that butt.
Okay, continuing on. Lucius is a dead man. Dead, 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 dead. Daddy dead. Gonna be so dead, not even funny. Lord Sika Lucius. Cassandra. With a man I can only assume is the new Inquisitor. Call off your men, or this only ends one way. I presume you know we Seekers of Truth were once the original Inquisition. Oh yes, we fought to restore order in a time of madness long ago, as you do now. And we became proud. We sought to remake the world, to make it better. But what did we create? The Chantry, the Circles of Magi, a war that will see no end. <clears throat> and aiding Corypheus is supposed to help? Corypheus is a monster with limited ambition. And your ambition is so much greater. We Seekers are abominations, Cassandra. We created a decaying world and fought to preserve it even as it crumbled. We had to be stopped. You don't believe me? See for yourself. The secrets of our order passed to me after the former Lord Seeker was slain. The war with the mages had already begun, but it was not too late for me to do the right thing. Hmm, which choice? They all seem brutal. And this was the right thing? Lord Seeker, what you've done. I know. What Corypheus did with the Templars does not matter. I have seen the future. I have created a new order to replace the old. The world will end so we can start anew. A pure beginning. Join us, Cassandra. It is the Maker's will. have destroyed all of us. I won't accept it. Let us return to Skyhold. I wish to see what's in this book of secrets. Oh, this castle in ruins. Would have been pretty, pretty pimping to see in its heyday. Very true. Oh, the body disappeared in my past.
Welcome viewers, Tom and Tom, or Tom and another viewer, or another viewer and Tom. Let's continue on. Okay, for now, let's head back to Skyhold. Return to Skyhold. I'll be right back, folks. I'm going to go grab something to drink. Okay, I'll be back momentarily, so I'm going to go grab some of the drinks, so just enjoy the scenery. Okay, I'm back. A space to watch, respect, and fear. Inquisitor. 
Inquisitor. Inquisitor. What's been going on? They've done a lot with this place. I'm impressed. What's been going on? Just waiting to get back out there. Seen bigger castles fall, but not better. This is home has passed from Lord Seeker to Lord Seeker since the time of the old Inquisition. And now it falls to me. Are you all right? You look drained. On the contrary, it's a delight. I'm riveted. Oh, you're joking. Do you know what the right of tranquility is? The last resort used on mages in the circle, leaving them unable to cast, but depriving them of dreams and all emotions. It should only be used on those who cannot control their abilities, but that has not always been the case. Does the book say it is used for other things? No. As a seeker, I looked into... Abuses. Mages made tranquil as punishment. What finally began the mage rebellion was the discovery the right of tranquility could be reversed. The Lord Seeker at the time covered it up. Harshly, there were death. It was dangerous knowledge. The shock of its discovery in addition to what happened in Kirkwall. But it appears we've always known how to reverse the right. From the beginning. So, the rebellion could have been prevented. Perhaps, but it was a long time coming for many reasons. We I was made tranquil and didn't even know. Then the vigil summoned the spirit of faith to touch my mind. That broke tranquility and gave me my abilities. The seekers did not share that secret. Not with me, not with the Chantry, not even with... There's more. Lucius was not wrong about the order. I thought to rebuild the seekers once victory was ours. Now I'm not certain it deserves to be rebuilt. You said there was more in the book. At some point, power becomes its own master. We cast aside ideals in favor of expedience and tell ourselves it was all necessary for the people. Will that happen to us, Inquisitor? Will we repeat history? No, we're nothing like the Seekers. I wonder how much we resemble what they used to be. I don't think I've ever seen you so shaken. I do not think the Seekers have been doing the Maker's work. Not truly. Perhaps we believed it once. The original Inquisition came to be during a terrible time. But now, we harbored secrets and let them fester. We acted to survive, but not to serve. That is not the Maker's work. If you did rebuild the Seekers, how would you do it? I can't be the only one remaining. 
We will always spread to the winds, and some may still be out there. I would find them one by one. We would all read this book, no more secrets. Then together we would establish a new charter, the Maker's Work in Truth. If anyone can rebuild them into something worthwhile, you can. But are they worth rebuilding? You could make them worth it. I will think on your words. Thank you. I could not have done this on my own. I was hoping we could speak privately. Ho ho! Are we not? Right. <laughs> of course we are. <clears throat> the flirting. With me. I've noticed it. Unless it is my imagination. Which is entirely possible. It's not your imagination. You cannot court me if that's your intention. It's impossible. Why is it impossible exactly? That should be obvious. Well, it isn't obvious to me. You intend to properly court me? You of all people. Is that what you want? No. <laughs> oh, I take it back. That is what I want. I want a man who sweeps me off my feet, who gives me flowers and reads me poetry by candlelight. I want the ideal. You are the inquisitor and the herald of Andraste. You cannot be that man. I can be that man, Cassandra. The world hinges on our, our actions. We face death at every turn, Inquisitor. That doesn't change how I feel. It changes everything. Moted. My dear, I know you must have a great deal on your mind right now, but I need to speak with you. You know as well as I how far the Inquisition's influence has spread, and how desperate the Grand Clerics have become. Our opinion will be instrumental in their election of the new divine. After the grand ball. The Inquisition may not be invited to their vote, but our actions will certainly influence the Grand Clerics. 
To sit on the Sunburst throne, a candidate should have grace, charm, and a will of solid steel. Cassandra may lack the first two, but unless you can think of someone better, she is the strongest choice. What would your ideal divine do with her power? The most important thing, of course, is the restoration of the Circle and the Templar Order. The institutions that have protected Sadus for ages must be rebuilt and the malcontents utterly crushed. We cannot allow anarchists to threaten the lives of the innocent. After we have restored sanity to the world, there will be time to address voices of dissent. Where can we find candidates outside of the Chantry? There must be someone other than Liliana or Cassandra. The Chantry is already desperate. They would not look to unordained women if they had any choice. You may have better luck searching the halls of the Imperial Court. There are many women serving the Empire who have the necessary presence and action. Actually, I think you fit the criteria perfectly, Viviana. Me? My dear Inquisitor, Thedas will never accept a mage as divine. A few words to the right people, and we can ensure no one objects to you taking the Sunburst throne. You do have a point, and a modicum of talent for the game. If the clerics could be persuaded to consider me, and it's not impossible, I could hardly refuse now, could I? We will have to be very mindful of everything we do and say, for the Conclave certainly is doing the same. If they look to the Inquisition to provide a sign of the Maker's will, we will have to give them the right one. How may I help you? I set aside an entire shelf for Grey Warden law, and so far it's not even half full. Those are wardens and their secrets. I've never been able to understand Southern Templars. Back home, a Templar shows up and all you think is, oh dear, which magister did I cross this time? Yeah, it's quite different. You're not thinking of actually joining their order, are you? I find their talents useful, that's all. Useful against mages? Speaking as a mage, it's a little disconcerting. Are you aware you smell different? I do. No one's mentioned. Lyrium has a particular smell, like the air after a lightning strike. It's incredibly attractive. Good job on that. I'd like to ask you about Tevinter. Anything specific? Corypheus is a figure out of Tevinter history. He was a magister. Yes, but that was a different time. The Imperium's power was at its peak then. The Civil War had ended. The Magisterium was united, its armies scooping up bits of Thedas like candy. The Magisters who entered the Black City. It was a demonstration of how exceptional Tevinter had become. But who were they? No one knows. There's no record of a magister named Corypheus. All this happened 1400 years ago, before the blight nearly wiped us out. There are no records. Today, people half believe it's all just a story. That's what I think. We 
have evidence the story is very much real. But not who Corypheus is, if he remembers. There used to be families who claimed some of those magisters as their own. That stopped when the Chantry appeared. Then it was shameful, and the families distanced themselves from the tale. All we know is that some men and women entered the Black City looking for the old gods. What did they find? According to Corypheus, nothing. And only he could tell us more. That's all I wanted to know. Fair enough. I should go. Try not to kill anyone without me. I'm told you gave the Grey Wardens another chance, Inquisitor. Would I have done the same, I wonder? Forgiveness can be difficult. I hope the Order values what you've done, and gives you no reason to regret it. I trust everything is well with the mages? There have been a few scuffles with your Templars, but overall it is going well. I'll leave you to it. Thankful to be back. No one should enter the Fade physically. And you've done it twice now. Shall I count you fortunate or unfortunate? Anything I should know? I've nothing to report at the moment. Good day. been made of you, Inquisitor. Here it is. How can I help? I need to know more about Corypheus. He has lost his army, and he has lost all aid. That eliminates military or political means to rebuild the winter. He will need to demonstrate that no one in this world can stand against his magic. It will not be subtle. We'll talk later. I want to know more about Red Lyrian. I'll tell you what I can. What could the Templars want with it? In Kirkwall, just having the Lyrian idol made Knight Commander Meredith impossibly strong. Before it turned her into a Lyrian statue, anyway. Maybe they thought the power was worth it, or maybe they didn't know the consequences. I think that's enough on Red Lyrian. Not really my favorite subject. Stone Man, Inquisitor. Do you have any insight into the stories these tiles are supposed to depict? Here you go, Inquisitor. I wrote up some thoughts. Hope it adds to the effort. Stone Man, Inquisitor. Do you have any insight into the stories these tiles are supposed to depict? Tell you what. You finish one, and I'll write it up. Who better, right? A good dwarven perspective.
likes them. Truly? Very much, Lady Ambassador. It's just butter and sugar. But I didn't taste it so simple. What do the people make of us? There's scarcely a noble house that hasn't openly pledged its support to us. Let's speak later. Farewell. It's good to see you. You haven't really gone into detail about how you know Liliana. We met... Uh, let me think. We met the last few years of my schooling, but we became friends after I became ambassador to Oleg. It seems terrifyingly long ago now. How exactly did you and Liliana reconnect in the Inquisition? I discovered my family had been overcharging a merchant we traded with for months. Our name carries a great deal of trust in Antiva. I spent weeks arranging a string of favors at suitable requests. Apparently satisfied, the merchant extended me an invitation to her estate. Leliana greeted me in place of the merchant. I assume there was more to it than a strange way to say hello. It was a test, of sorts. Leliana claimed she needed someone of painful integrity for the Inquisition. I accepted, once she finally explained what it was.
do you remain close? Yes, but she's grown so much more distant than the outgoing woman I met in Bas Royale. Leliana used to wander the Orlesian courts, singing the sweetest songs, charming the greatest ladies. Now she collects secrets and takes risks that will make empires tremble. I worry, but she will not hear it. Liliana confided. If she enjoys revisiting our more disastrous adventures, Liliana used to concoct the most ridiculous plan. Run if you ever see her with a twine ball, a measuring stick, and a handkerchief. I'll be right, folks. Be right back, folks. Nature is calling my name. Okay. Tell me 
I'm back. Maybe your siblings could help lighten your burden. You don't know them. What's Lorian in charge, or Antoine, or Yvette? No, truly. It must be me. Where were you raised, Josephine? I was born in Antibes. But when I turned 15, Mother declared I was dead. Uh, I pulled into her skirt the day I had to leave. How did the younger you like Val Royale when you arrived? Had you ever stepped into a new city and felt that the buildings couldn't possibly be real? That was Val Royale to me. So beautifully foreign, I gave them the fires for months. Does Antiba City have nothing that compares to Val Royale? Antiva City is a jewel among the capital. <sighs> but I did not appreciate that before I traveled. There are multitudes of places I'd like to see. Sahara, the Anderfell, whatever life past the Amaranth in Oshu. What's the land like in Antiba? The settled areas are quite lush. The vineyards run 
and as far as the eye can see in some places. And Diva City, however, are just right up against the Rialto Bay. That's what I miss you most. The sea crashing against the I have difficulty seeing you wandering around a trading force. Everyone in Antifa City spends time by the ships, my lord. The finest restaurants and poets all make their habitation by the sea. The waterfronts never still. Lanterns are lit along the promenade, no matter what the weather. As ambassador, I attended Privy Council meetings in immediate Tarikataka. May I just say, one has never heard an argument until they've sat in on 15 princes howling down each other at Tarik's That sounds more like a mob than a meeting. It's all a part of life in Antigua. Our tradition value fashion and romance. A certain exuberance of style. Are you positive you're Antifa? I can be most exuberant when it is called for. Just at the right moment and in a proper fashion. Might we speak of something else? Let's speak later. Goodbye. A pleasure. What do the people make of us? There's scarcely a noble house that hasn't openly pledged its support to us. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? None in particular. Our guests are well pleased with what they've seen.
we have. Bom, 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 bom,
my interest is Zelda. What is it? Seek the Zelda, sir. Those bottles downstairs for dancing. 